This is the independent practice for 4.1. Hopefully you've had a chance to try these and uh, now you're just checking your work, seeing how you did. Uh, so we have number one is uh, 1 fourth times 21. We want to estimate it. I have this bar graph here. I'm going to make this bar graph into four equal sections. Um, and I want to get a number here that's close to 21 but can be divided equally into these four sections. Okay, and I think if I go to 20, I can divide that by 4 easy. I get 5, 5, 5, 5. Okay, so I have four sections of 5. There's my 4. I only want one of them. So I just want one here. So it's about 5. Okay. This next one, number 2, I have 5, uh, 5, divided by 7. So I'm going to make this one whole into 7 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, 7 parts. Then I want to take this 22 and I want to divide it evenly into these parts. 22 doesn't divide evenly into 7, but 21 does. And that's 3. 3, 3, Three. They each get 3, and the way I know I have a total of 27 is I have 7 parts divided times 3 equals 21. Now it says I have the 7 parts. I want 5 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I want this much of it. This much of my 21. And so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 3 is 15. So 5 sevenths of 22 is about 15. All right, let's look here. 5 sevenths. Now I know that 5 sevenths is more than a half. So I'm going to round that up to 1 times 1 ninth. 1 of 9 is so small, it's closer to 0. It's less than a half, that's for sure. So 1 times 0 equals 0, and that's your answer for that one. This one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to round them. 4 and a third. Now, a third is less than a half. So it's just going to be 4 times 2 and 3 quarters. 3 quarters is uh, almost a whole. So I'm going to take that to 3, and that equals 12. So it's about 12. Okay, let's see. Cyrus is inviting 11 friends over for pizza. He would like to have enough pizza so each friend can have one-fourth of a pizza. About how many pizzas should he order? So, um, it's going to be 11, and they're each going to get a fourth. So I'm going to do one-fourth times 11. That'll tell me how many pizzas I need. I'm going to do the bar graph. I like that one. Okay. One, two, three. So I take my four, four sections. Okay. I just need one of these sections. But I need this 11 to go into equal into each of them. 11 doesn't go equally into four ways, but 12 does. So 12 goes in uh, 3, 3, 3, 3. I add all those up, I get 12. So then 1 fourth, 1 fourth of these 12, that's 12, is going to be 3. So if I get 3 pizzas, I should have enough. Number 6. Akeem's front porch measures nine and three quarters feet by four feet. Estimate the area. Well, nine and three quarters, three fourths is almost a whole, so I'm going to bump this up to ten times four feet equals forty feet squared. So I did that one pretty quick. I was able to estimate. Once I got that nine and three fourths, round it to ten. 10 times 4, easy. Okay, let's look at number 7. 
These guys are buying uh, bird seed, and it looks like they bought five bags. So, if each bag holds three and three fourths pounds, estimate how many pounds of bird seed they purchased. So, five bags. So, three and three fourths times five. Well, this three fourths is almost a whole. So I'm going to round that to 4. 4 times 5 equals 20. So they purchased about 20 pounds of bird seed. And then B, suppose each bag cost um, $14.99 and they bought 5 bags. Um, this $14.99 is so close to $15. i am just going to make it $15 times 5 bags. And that I can do... It's $75. $75. So they spent quite a bit of money on some bird seed. All right, so that's the independent practice. Hopefully you were able to understand that. If you have any questions, um, come see me. Otherwise, go ahead and go on to the extra practice. And that's on page 263. Okay.